Let's take a quick look at the Audi R8. V10 under the hood. This is Carl Troy's vehicle. He owns European Road Racing. And uh, we did a little video on it earlier talking about it, how, uh, how this car's really transformed over the last few years from being just a traditional regular Audi R8 to uh, this here today with the wide body kit, the wheels, all that good stuff. A lot of carbon fiber going on, as you can see there. Beautiful wheels, and uh, you can really take a look at rims sometimes and tell which ones are not expensive and which ones are, and these look really expensive. Good looking Michelin white letter tires. Big massive brakes under there, of course. Beautiful car, well maintained, and uh, it's, uh, it's race ready, as you can see. I mean, massive spoiler off the back. Look at that thing, holy mackerel. Beautiful. And uh, quick silver exhaust systems, man. Wouldn't we like to hear this one get cranked up? Beautiful car though. And uh, that is what Audi is all about with the R8. Definitely, uh, if it was my car, I'd have to get that window tint off the back there so that motor can definitely be seen a little bit more. But again, it's a uh, 2014 Audi R8. Very nice, one of a kind custom vehicle. It sure is by Carl Troy with European Road Racing. As you can see, they've done a great job today. You got a nice little selection of cars out here that they work on on a day-to-day -day basis. So there's that one. Here's a, uh, a CC Jetta. Again, very good looking car. Look at the wheels on that thing. I mean, they look brand spanking new, don't they? I don't think he even drives on the road with those wheels. Look how clean they are. Good looking car. The uh, CC is uh, actually going away after this year, 2017. And the uh, Volkswagen Arteon will be taking the place of the CC. So uh, stay tuned on the channel for the Arteon in the next few months. As you can see, you got some nice little clean mods under here. You got your intake, all that good stuff. Grill looks nice. Again, I've always liked the CC. I just kind of like how the top's cut on it. Kind of gives it a uh, chop top look, doesn't it? And again, I really like those wheels. Good looking set of wheels on there. Beautiful car. Can't miss this one here, the BMW. Again, I don't know a whole lot about Beamers, but I do know they look really sweet. Wow. Is that not a pretty car right there? Loving that color. Again, I'm loving all the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber extending all throughout the interior. Definitely very custom. And, uh, and you can just look at that car and tell and it's ready to go fast. I mean, look at the wheels. Look at the brakes. Wow. Another beautiful car. I love seeing the mirrors kind of popped in like that. I love the carbon fiber roof on it. I'm liking the rear end. The M3. Holy mackerel. Another Beamer right here. 5 Series M5. Good colors. I mean, these are nice colors for car shows. That's definitely for sure. Another pretty set of wheels. Wow. Man. And then the Ferrari, which is always a uh, looker at a car show. And uh, we're going to cut real quick and we'll be right back. Yeah. All right, everybody, let's take a look at the GT3 Porsche. Looking good, sporting in black, beautiful car, and uh, man. The weather is starting to get a little cloudy out here, which actually makes nice for some filming, especially on this car here. And wow, it sure is a beautiful vehicle. And a very pricey one at that for some of y'all that are Porsche fanatics. Y'all know exactly what this is all about right here, so I won't have to get too in detail. But um, headlights look good. I mean, this is a gorgeous car. Big wheels, massive brakes. Oh my Lord. Um, I actually had the pleasure of riding in a uh, GT3 Cup car when I worked with a Porsche dealership in, uh, in Hilton Head. 
with Hurley Hayward. If you know who Hurley Hayward is, uh, anybody that's into the uh, racing stuff, Brumos Racing and all that good stuff, I got to ride with Hurley. And uh, Hurley, basically, I can just tell you right now, he uh, he made me to have to tell him to pull over and because I basically got out of the car puking after looking at my camera and trying to film at the same time while going around a racetrack with him. But a beautiful car and uh, wow, it's gorgeous. It's Porsche, let's keep moving around, um, see what we can find out here today. Of course, we got the Volkswagens. But what I want to look at is this right over here. The Volkswagen Tiguan that's slammed. A little bit older body style, but a very good looking body style at that. And I uh, got the amber lights down there. It's a low, low, low to the ground. Tucking the uh, tires, as you can see right there. I mean, that's what you call tucking tires. Almost tucking the rim. Something about those, uh, those spokes I like. They just look really cool. They even got some uh, running boards down the side. How about that? Really cool car. Nice looking interior. This looks like a fun one to drive and own on a daily basis. And uh, to complete the outside, he's done a great job on the fit and finish on the inside here. That's nice and clean. Everything nice and flush down there. Really nice. I like that a lot. It's a cool little car. Pretty neat. Something a little different, right? All right. Let's take a look at a Ferrari. Pretty bone stock for the most part. Not a whole lot of aftermarket, but hey, when you own a Ferrari, do you need to do a whole lot of aftermarket, right? Still a beautiful car, whether it's stock or, or not. Uh, to me, I think the Audi R8 does it a little more for my for my liking, but uh, I guess because these Ferraris have just been kind of become kind of common in a sense. You know, any cars and coffee, you're going to see an F430 out there most of the time. But I do like the color. Um, red is the iconic Ferrari car, but this gray is really pretty. All right, let's keep moving through, folks. And here's a good-looking Volkswagen GTI, but they got a D on there. Is it diesel? <laughs> Who knows, right? Good looking car though, pretty sporty. And uh, what I'm liking about it is the camber. It's really unique. Again, we filmed this in earlier, but the camber is, holy mackerel. Uh, that's called tucking tire and basically hugging up on the uh, fenders there. My goodness. Look at that. I mean, that's on there. And then take a look at the back. Kind of looks like a little skateboarder. And uh, that's pretty sweet. I like the mirrors, that's different. Pretty cool car, don't want to get too close. Good looking BMW, that's pretty. Another uh, car with some beautiful rims. HRE Performance wheels, those are not cheap folks, those are three piece alloys. Wow. Definitely got a lot of work done to that one. And uh, holy mackerel, wait till you see the inside. Uh, definitely ready for a race, I would say. Holy mackerel. And uh, yeah, maybe more ready for a show than a race. Look at that. Those are subwoofers, and those are nitrous bottles, and those are screens, and that's suede. A little bit of everything going on in this one. Wow, that is definitely ready for a car show, Carolina Auto Salon. Even got some uh, stuff going on right there. Now, what would be nice is to see the actual screens playing something on them. That would definitely uh, catch your eye a little more at a car show, but that's an eye catcher either way you look at it. Here's a cool little car, and it's definitely sporty, sporty looking. R32, right? For some of y'all Volkswagen R32 fans, that's a pretty one. Man, I tell you, the uh, YouTube channel has been all about Volkswagen lately, and uh, I like the wheels. I like how it sits, nice and low. Roof racks look cool up there. Let's take a look at the interior. 
pretty sweet looking nice got the black top with the blue and uh, maybe he's got a uh, believe that's not a nitrous bottle folks that is a uh, air canister if you want to call it that for airbag suspension so uh, you know he can lift his car up and down and get it over to speed bumps that would be uh, the reason why I would want airbags on it you can't get low to the ground without airbags to get up over those bumps so there's another car let's keep rolling through what's up everybody so the day continues here in the IOP having a great day finally uh, being around two o'clock now cars have filled in this whole section so there's a, definitely a lot more interesting vehicles to look at what's up everybody let's share a little love with this Volkswagen Passat here good looking car nice color got a nice stance on it really does look very nice I mean I like a Volkswagen Passat and this is really pretty I love the uh, red tail lights the carbon fiber deck lid spore looks good on the back as you can see it's uh, got a nice little exhaust down there and um, European road racing I believe did some of the work on this one there's your interior automatic transmission again just a, a good looking Volkswagen Passat and uh, the reason I'm shooting some videos of even cars just like this today is I want to show you that even a Volkswagen Passat your family sedan can also be dressed up and look really nice as you can see right there got the amber lights down in the bottom bumper and again just got a nice stance to it doesn't it good looking car the VW Passat 